I think I gained a lot of experience just uh, wrestling more international uh, tournaments. You know, I wrestled a lot of international matches in between that year and the uh, 2015 World Championships. Wrestled over 30 matches in college where I got to learn and grow. So I don't know if there's one thing in particular I could say I learned from that match other than probably you know not not worrying as much about my opponent and uh, not trying to game plan as much, kind of just going out there and wrestling as hard as I can to be the best that I can be. It was exciting being announced. They announced it during halftime that I was going to be wrestling at heavyweight and the duel actually came down to my match. So it was really exciting. First heavyweight match I've ever competed in. I was excited to wrestle in front of the Buckeye crowd. Excited to just compete because I hadn't in a while. And uh, you know, those are the type of situations that I like to be in where the team is dependent on me to uh, get a victory. There was no hesitation or worry about moving up to heavyweight. I felt like I was strong enough, had good enough technique to where even the bigger guys I wouldn't have that much of a problem with. Yeah, I was looking forward to wrestling Gwiz. I was, you know, excited for the opportunity. Um, it was a big match. Those are the matches that I like where people get excited and uh, hyped up about and it lived up to the you know the glory that people wanted it to be It's pretty exciting lots of scoring for a heavyweight match a lot of people say it's one of the best ones ever so That's that's how wrestling should be done When the match was over and I was an Olympic champ, you know I, I fell down to my knees for a little for a second or two kind of just like I remember staring at my hands. I was like wow can't believe like I can go I can believe it because I believe in myself but at the same time just a special moment and then run around with the flag on the mat was very special as well. Yeah it was one of the most incredible moments I've ever been a part of. You know the whole stadium stood to their feet, started clapping and chanting USA. The place got loud, you know, probably one of the louder points of the whole game, so it was really fun being in the middle of the field and uh, it was almost surreal standing there with hundreds of thousands, hundred thousand people clapping. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. You know, we live together here um, at the apartment, so it's awesome being able to live with him and uh, drill and work out with him and, you know, he's one of my best friends, so it's uh, great to share a college experience with them. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. That's what makes the sport exciting. I mean, our goal is to be team champ with many individual champions on the team, and we're capable of doing that as long as guys wrestle hard and uh, try and score points and make it fun. So I think. The goal, the goal of the team should just be be the best wrestlers they can be, score as many points as possible, have fun while they're doing it, and uh, if we do that, we have the guys to win the tournament. Individually, I see a lot of growth in the sport of wrestling. I see technically getting better, stronger, faster throughout the year, and uh, Accolade wise, hopefully we'll see if I continue to have success, but I'm going to challenge myself. The guys that I could train with here, people I could be surrounded by, had a similar mindset as me and love the sport, so it's always good to be around people, surround yourself with people who think the same way about the sport and share the same passion as you. Um, and I love my teammates, I love the coaches. Uh, the campus and academic support system here is incredible. You know, our academic advisor, John Macko, is one of the best in the entire country at doing what he does. And you know, other people should come here, I guess for similar reasons that I just said, but 
you know, they visit and find their own reasons as well. Small, small things make big difference, big differences. So. It means that a lot of people support what we are, what we are doing here and me as an individual, you know, I'm thankful for all their support and grateful for uh, them coming to matches and shaking hands and taking pictures. It's really fun and uh, it's just exciting. I think as a recruit, it's exciting to compete in front of a crowd who cares and to compete in front of thousands of people on the weekends when, when we're at home.